Harakura Horami. Speaker, to the Minister of Māori Affairs, what advice, if any, has he received this week from Tapuni Kokiri on issues crucial to Māori? Oh, Speaker. The Honourable Georgina Tehirihu. On behalf of the Minister, Tapuni Kokiri. Te Puni Kōkiri advises the Minister on a wide range of issues crucial to Māori every week. Mr Speaker, well, order, order, I, I say to, order, I say to the, uh, the Honourable Minister, the, the question's been on notice and did ask what advice, if any, has he received this week? And the Minister in replying has said, receives a wide range of uh, advice uh, on an ongoing basis, and, and I think a little more specificity to the question asked, since it is on notice, would be appreciated by the House. The Honourable Georgina Tehuva. On behalf of the Minister, Tupuni Kokiri advise, has advised the Minister on a wide range of issues crucial to Māori this week. Well, the Honourable... No, no, order. No, it won't. The Honourable Parakura Horomia has further supplementaries to pursue that answer. Mr Speaker, what advice did he receive from Te Puni Kōkiri on the definition of the Whānau Order Programme, the proposal to have a separate Whānau Order Minister and a Whānau Order Trust, which is to hold the billion dollars worth of funding it has been promised, with minimal accountability for what it spends the billion dollars on? The Honourable Georgina Tehuhu. Mr Speaker, all of those matters that the member mentions are speculation at this point. The report from the Whānau Order Task Force was handed over today. Uh, Te Puni Kōkiri has advised the Minister that this is a constructive and useful report. Uh, the Minister continues to be very enthusiastic about the movement that is occurring to develop Whānau Order as a new approach to the delivery of social services, something that that Minister didn't do when he was in government. Discussions among ministers continue, the outcome of which will form part of the budget 2010, at which time that member will know along with everybody else. The Mr Honourable Speaker, Harakura does he, as the Minister of Māori Affairs, support the Māori Party's private members' bill to remove GST from food? If so, how does he reconcile this conflict with his government's plan to instead increase GST across the board? Honourable Georgina Tehuhu. As indicated yesterday on a similar question, uh, the Minister is part of wide ranging discussions with other ministers. Um, he will be considering he will be he will be considering he will like again it's been indicated yesterday this is a total package economic package, and the Minister is very well aware that those issues that he has raised need to be considered in line with other issues that are also part of the package. Point of order, the Honourable Trevor Mallard. Mr Speaker, it's a, a relatively simple point of order. The, the Minister is answering on behalf of the Minister of Maori Affairs. Uh, she should be answering, I, I think, I in the first that. person at least, in giving his perspective rather than a National Party perspective on it. Well, I don't think there's any need for, further, for me to hear further on because the point of order, and I'll be heard in silence, the point of order raised by Honourable Trevor Mallard is quite correct that when a minister is answering on behalf of another minister, they are answering as that minister and they shouldn't be, a minister should not be saying he is going to be doing, uh, referring to the other minister because the minister is answering on behalf and, and so the point raised by the Honourable Minister is correct. I didn't want to intervene unless members were finding it unacceptable. A member has drawn attention to it as being unacceptable and I'd ask the Minister to be mindful of that and answer any further question. The Honourable Shane Jones. To the Minister, what, has, what advice has he received from TPK on what option he should take